Hello, I'm Mayor Susan Seaman. As I've shared with you in my previous communications, the City of Eureka is continuing to work tirelessly to support the health and well-being of our citizens, our community, and our economy during the COVID-19 pandemic. In just two weeks, we'll be entering Halloween weekend. It's a favorite holiday for many kids and adults alike. And like everything else, Halloween will look a little different this year, but it doesn't mean we can't still have some scary fun. The City of Eureka has been working hard to make sure kids 12 and under get a chance to show off their costumes and earn some treats with the pumpkin hunt events at three of our local parks, Sequoia Park, Cooper Gulch, and 2030 Park. In an effort to limit the number of people at any single time, the events will be broken into three time periods for different aged participants. Please wear a protective mask, not just a Halloween mask if you attend. Social distance and come at the following times. Children ages 06 should come from 11 a.m. to 12.30. Children ages 7 to 9 should arrive between 12.30 and 2 p.m. And children between 10 and 12 years old should arrive between 2 and 3.30 p.m. Please limit your experience to one park so many children can participate as safely as possible. And if you have questions, you can call our community services team at 441-4248. Boo at the Zoo is a popular event every year, and this year it'll be a members-only premiere experience for a limited number of Sequoia Park Zoo members in order to meet county guidelines and discourage gatherings of groups of people. The event will happen on Halloween Day from 3 to 6 p.m. Members can reserve their spot now at the Sequoia Park Zoo website, and if you're not a member, you can become one to reserve your tickets. Families with Zoo membership will also get free entrance to the zoo for a whole year. And even if you don't attend a community event, there are plenty of ways to plan a fun Halloween with your immediate family. You can go on a pumpkin hunt for the perfect pumpkin and have a fun time carving them or using them to decorate a fall scene. You can also take a walk to look for other decorated pumpkins in your neighborhood. Make a spooky dinner. There are a ton of easy and creative recipes that are fun to cook and devour together as a family. Have a neighborhood scavenger hunt where you take a walk in your neighborhood and look for items to check off a scavenger hunt scorecard. You can prepare prize bags with goodies for each of them found, or you can just hide treats around the house for a more localized hunt. You can plan a scary movie night and even schedule a watch party with friends and family near and far by watching the same movie at the same time. You can use Zoom or Google Hangouts or your favorite video conferencing app to get together for costume contests, a dance party, or a modern campfire style ghost story event. Finally, decorating your house or business is a great activity that doesn't require social gathering but can bring a smile to so many people. The most important thing to remember is that Halloween is pretend scary, but COVID is real scary and we want to allow for the fun without creating any health crises. Trick-or-treating is considered an unsafe activity from the CDC to our local health department. But with just a little imagination, we can help make this a special and memorable Halloween for all the right reasons. Again, I'm Mayor Susan Seaman, and I appreciate everybody's commitment to keeping us safe while we adapt to celebrating in a strange environment. Please continue to be safe, stay healthy, be patient with yourself, and kind to your neighbors and family. We'll talk again soon.